this short video explains Boolean operators and phrase searching, which can be used to refine your searches so you can find more research you need for your papers and projects. There are three Boolean operators, and, or, and not. We'll go over each of them so you know what they do and how to use them. One of the easiest ways to understand how Boolean operators work is to use a Venn diagram. If we type into the search box in a database, the search string cat and dog, we're using the Boolean operator and to tell the search engine that we only want results back that have both the words cat and dog in them. If the circle on the left contains all the results with the word cat and the circle on the right contains all the results with the word dog, what part of the Venn diagram will our search return? We'll only get back the results in the middle of the Venn diagram that contain both the word cat and the word dog. So we can see that the Boolean operator and narrows our search results. You'll use and in your searching if you are getting back too many results. You can add another keyword to your research topic about your research topic using and. The Boolean operator or is useful to use between synonyms if you aren't sure which will be used by the authors of the articles you're searching for. In this case, if we search cat or feline, what part of the Venn diagram will contain our results? We'll get back everything that has the word cat, feline, or both, as many of our databases use what is called the inclusive or. Here we can see that the Boolean operator or expands our search results. To recap, and narrows your search results while or expands them. It is helpful to remember the phrase or is more for this. We go over this because spoken English works in exactly the opposite way of Boolean operators. For example, if I said, please bring back a peach and a banana, you would bring back two items. But if I said, please bring back a peach or a banana, you would bring back one item. This is the exact opposite of Boolean operators where or expands and and narrows. So it's important to remember this when constructing your searches in the databases. The last Boolean operator is not, and you use it when you want to exclude a word from your search. In this example, if we want results back with the word cat but not dog, and we use the search string cat not dog, what part of the diagram will we get back? We'll get back only the left side of the diagram and not the middle because those results contain the word dog, which we don't want. You should use not in your searches if you keep running into a word that is irrelevant to your research from previous searches. Don't start your, your search with the not or you will exclude some good results because they contain the stop word. In this case, some of the middle results that have the word cat and dog may be useful, but we won't see them because they contain the word dog. Also related to searching, Remember that the computer does not know that two or more words written adjacent to each other should be searched as a phrase. To ensure that search engines search phrases such as United States or Cal State East Bay, make sure to include your phrase in quotation marks. In another video, we'll demonstrate how Boolean operators and phrase searching change the number of search results in the database by applying what we covered in this video. If you have questions, please contact us via 24-7 chat help and we'll be happy to help you and good luck with your research.